What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on the digital SAT from the Scale Up Learning Channel. This is one that I've been working on all week. I'm excited to finally present to you how to study for the math portion of the digital SAT. So the reason for this video is that we got the digital SAT premiering essentially on a global scale this upcoming March of 2024. And there's a lot of questions about how to prepare, who to go to, who knows the new test versus the old test, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I have studied the math portion like crazy as best as I could with the materials out there, looked at a, a lot of other options in terms of how to prepare. And also there's a company that I've partnered with, the SAT Crash Course. And I want to be totally transparent about that. But the reason why I partnered with them is because I do feel that the quality of the test that they have released is second to none. Uh, the platform is amazing. The CEO is amazing. Everybody at the company is incredible. So I do want to put that out there that I have partnered with them. So take this presentation with that caveat. But again, I've done my research and I feel like I've done a pretty good job of analyzing what else is out there. So I'm going to show you all your options, the pricing and whatnot, and we're going to talk through everything so you can do the best for your preparation for this upcoming digital SAT. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, resource that I want to talk about is the College Board, straight from the source. These are the creators of the digital SAT. And I got to say that anybody starting along this journey, you got to start here, right? Because you want that Blue Book app, which is exactly aligned to the digital SAT because they're the creators. They're making the practice test and they've always historically made amazing practice tests for you to get the best read of what's really gonna be on this test when you take it for real. The Blue Book app is where you need to start. It's got the practice test in there, four official full-length practice tests. I've taken them multiple times at this point on my YouTube channel. You can check them out uh, if you if you wanna see those. And they're great practice tests, and you can take them just like you were gonna take the real test within the Blue Book app, because on the test day, you're gonna bring your device, you're gonna open the Blue Book uh, app, and you're gonna log in and, and take the test that way. So you gotta start here, and you gotta start with these four official practice test. And the cost is totally free. You can't beat that. So anybody starting out got to start here. Um, and there is the link if you want to check out how to download this Blue Book app, which is again, totally free. And this is what the app looks like. Okay, so there's there's the icon. All right, moving on. We're going to talk about another free resource, which is Khan Academy. Again, an official partner with the College Board. So that speaks to their credibility and the content they have on their site. Now, in this case, what Khan Academy has, they have practice exercises by question type, 37 categories in total, and they fall under these broader categories of algebra, eight subcategories, problem solving and data analysis, advanced math and geometry and trigonometry, so you add those up, adds up to 37 subcategories in total. So you can really target and go through, hey, I'm having trouble with this type of problem, that type of problem, etc. And then within these categories, they have levels, right? We have foundations, which is arguably the lowest difficulty level, medium, and then advanced. I'm doing a series right now on my YouTube channel where I'm going through all of these different topics on through all the levels. So you can check that out as well for walkthrough explanations as I do sample problems from this. Again, the cost is free. So I would also start out here. Now, what I want to say is that in the past, when it came to the regular SAT, I did start to notice a little bit of a disconnect when you got into the higher levels of the practice questions from Khan Academy and what you'd actually see on the real SAT. I, I've only, I'm only going through foundations right now. I haven't hit medium and advanced yet. So I just want to throw that caveat out there that there may again be that disconnect in the higher levels, but I'm assuming that they've done a better job with the digital SAT in terms of alignment. Again, that's just an assumption, but that's what my guess is, is they've had multiple years to collaborate and prepare for this. So that would be my thoughts, but definitely an amazing place to go if you want targeted practice. There's that link. If you do want to go there, sign up. Once again, it's free to create an account and I encourage you to do so. Now we're gonna get into the paid resources and at the top of the list is the SAT Crash Course. Now this is the company that I've partnered with. I think they're amazing. The reason why I partnered with them is because I saw their interface, I had a chat with the CEO and I was like, okay, I'll look at it, but in general, most of the interfaces I've, I've found in the past anyways, before the digital SAT, I found, you know, it was always a question of how good are the questions in terms of alignment to the what the College Board has created. And we only have a sample space of four practice tests from the College Board, but like I said, I've done them multiple times. So I have a pretty good feel of what the questions should look and feel like. SAT Crash Course, I feel like knocked it out of the park with the quality of the question types or the quality of the questions in general, excuse me, for the practice test. Now, they have 
10 full length practice tests, which is a lot compared to the competition. In fact, if you're a B2B customer, right, and as opposed to just a student studying for the SAT, there's 10, but if you're a B2B customer, now there's 20, right? If you're a tutoring company and you purchase the full package, you can even have up to 20. So anyways, these and these practice tests are solid, amazing, excellent, especially I can talk about the math, not the verbal side as much, but the math is what I've gone through meticulously. I've created video explanations for them, so it's the best of the best in my opinion. So again, Again, here are some characteristics, right? I felt like the qual question quality is very solid. The formatting of the interface is aligned with the Blue Book app, which is what you want. You want that look and that feel so you feel as familiar as possible. Um, and video explanations, okay? They're gonna be available soon for practice tests one through 10 for every question. And that's gonna be an additional cost, which I'm gonna talk about. And these video explanations are made by me. So if you like my teaching style and you like my videos, I feel like these will be the best of the best. The cost is 175, but if you're gonna include the video explanations, it's gonna be another $25 up to $200. And there is the link if you wanna check it out. I highly encourage you to do so. Next, we're gonna to come to a big company that you may recognize the name. They have a digital SAT platform as well. Uh, this is the Princeton Review, and what they have available on their platform is four full-length practice tests, and what I thought when I re went through, I went through one practice test for each of these, so that's where I'm getting my kind of feedback. I thought the question quality was pretty solid. Um, I had a little bit of criticism about the font and the look of the interface, not being exactly like the blue book. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but I did want to, want to note that there were some discrepancies there. And for the cost, they have sort of these di different packages and some of them roll tutoring in. So you can see uh, the 1500 plus, the 1400 plus, et cetera. And then we've got these other, you know, you can just get private tutoring uh, for 175 an hour. So these are, these are the different pricing options. They do have this uh, score guarantee. I tried to figure out if this is actually something that is requested a lot and honored. I, I looked on Reddit, a lot of the, the posts that had talked about it, they seem to be not active, right? So I couldn't find much information, but I read through their the promise and the way it works and you have to make sure that you do all the homework and do all these things you can submit a claim again. I have no likely, no idea how likely they are to actually pay that back if you feel unsatisfied or if you didn't hit that target. But in general, what I say is like my personal stance, the reason why I never offer these guarantees or other people don't is because I feel like it's just a made up thing. It's like, you you know, if you put the, the objective will always be with all of my students to do the absolute best they can. And a lot of times it's about putting in that work, putting in the effort, all that stuff, and you're gonna get results now can you actually guarantee particular results? There's so many variables. There's so many things that we can't factor in. So I just feel like it doesn't really make sense because there's so many things that are outside of your control as a test prep company or even a private tutor. But anyways, that's my two cents. And here's the link. If you guys do want to check out Prince and Review and you like their products, the last thing I'll say is like in general, right, with these bigger companies, I tend to believe that the quality of the tutoring is gonna be lower than when you go with an individual shop, like a, a small boutique like us or other folks, because and if you look at the National Test Prep Association as well, a lot of the tu smaller tutoring companies that are members there ha are more likely to pay better and have tutors that really care about tutoring and treat it like a full-time permanent job for the rest of their life that they're truly passionate about. So that's my two cents there. Now we're on to Score Smart. This is created by a fellow NTPA member. This platform is, I believe, based in India. That's where that's where that tutoring company is based. A lot of international students in India do take the digital SAT as well. So on this uh, platform, there's nine full-length practice tests, which is awesome. I thought the question quality is quite solid um, for line with the with the blue book. In terms of the question types, I say I give a slight edge to Princeton Review, very slight. I mean, I, I, it's just if I have to compare or give the edge somewhere, I thought the, that that's where I'd give the edge, but still still very quality in terms of the math content. There's a downloadable PDF score report. The cost is $200 that gives you all nine tests. The first one is for free, or you can do a cost per test basis, $35 a pop. So that's a kind of cool option. And here is the link right there. Next we have Super Tutor TV. So if you're familiar with Super Tutor TV on YouTube, there's a huge YouTube following, a really great YouTube channel and a great tutor as well. So they have their own platform. So here there's only one full length practice test. So obviously a lot lower than the other brands or other competitors. So that's just something to note. Uh, I do believe that they said they're gonna release four some point in early 2024, but that's what's up there right now. So just to give you that comparison, I thought the question quality is solid. The little thing I noticed, again, I'm just pointing it out. The calculator doesn't open uh, within the module. So it opens on a separate tab. 
which again is not consistent with the blue book. Uh, the free response questions did allow for more digits to be entered than with the blue book app, but every, these are nitpicky things. I just wanted to point them out so people are aware. The great thing about this platform is that there are video explanations and lessons, uh, which is really, really cool. And the video explanations are tied to, there's like the lessons go with particular categories. So it's like, hey, this is practice questions on this category or that category, right? So again, it's these targeted practice exercises and there's video explanations accompanying those. And again, I think most of the other platforms don't have these video explanations. Obviously, I'm a firm believer that they're super, super valuable because I see the value on my YouTube channel as well. And the cost for this is $149, full access to the course for six months. There's also a 12-month package, but you, know, you shouldn't need more than six months to prepare for the digital SAT. Last but not least, here is the link to go sign up. There you go. Finally, we come to test innovators. You may have not heard of them if you're thinking purely SAT and ACT prep, although they've been doing that for quite some time. I know a lot of people are very familiar with this brand when it comes to IC and SSAT prep, but they have really entered the scene for a digital SAT prep. Um, on their platform, there are 10 full length practice tests available, so that's quite a lot. Um, and I'd say the question quality is fine. Again, that calculator doesn't open within the module. You have to click to, to a separate tab. Not the end of the world. Just wanted to point that out that 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 is inconsistent with the blue bag, blue book uh, app. I thought the formatting of the interface, they kind of kept their typical formatting of their interface for the SA, for the IC, for the SSAT, et cetera. So they didn't modify it to match the blue book. Again, just wanted to point that out, not the end of the world, but it's something to, to be mindful of that the blue book app will look different than when you take it on the test innovators platform. Uh, for the practice test one, module one that I took, which is supposed to be the easier module, I just wanted to note that I felt like the difficulty was a little bit higher than what I've noticed with the four official blue book practice tests. So that's something to note. Um, and then there also seemed to be a lower occurrence of diagrams and figures than is typically found on the college board official practice test or sample test. Well, another great thing that they have is they have a thousand plus targeted practice questions available in their question bank. And along with those, they don't have video explanations, but they do have written explanations. So that's what they have in their repertoire. The cost is $199 for 12 months of access. And there is the link if you'd like to check it out. So that's it. That's my analysis of how you can prepare for the digital SAT. Again, my recommendation is to start with the free resources on College Board as well as Khan Academy in terms of targeted practice. But the best way to prepare for these standardized tests is to take as many practice tests as possible. So with all the options available, you've got lots and lots of practice tests at your disposal. I would definitely take advantage of that. Once again, I'm going to put up here SAT Crash Course, which is my top pick. It's the reason why I partnered with them. But the caveat is they are a partner of mine. My video course is on sale there. But hey, that's why I picked them because I believe they're the best. So that's what I got for you today. I wish you guys all the best of luck when you do take the digital SAT. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.